Art and cultural heritage, the two touchstones for human progress, have been an integral part of our country's long-standing artistic legacy, veritably continuing a history of ever-evolving human consciousness. One such form of art, which initially originated as a tool for ceremonial use, is the 2,000-year-old UNESCO-recognized Patichitra. This traditional art form has successfully expanded to adapt to today's corporate and cosmopolitan world. But while the art gains prestige and recognition at the global level, its creators still live in the dark corners of anonymity and oblivion. In the quaint yet vibrant village of Naya in West Medinipur, West Bengal, these committed and competent artists also address as Chitrakars strive hard to take forward the legacy of this age-old art. But for a long time, they have been caught in the spiral of poverty and debt at the mercy of exploitative middlemen. Their limited knowledge about the present consumer inclination and lack of efficient sales measures cause their art to get lost in the already saturated markets. Moreover, due to their lack of entrepreneurial skills, the Chitrakas could not make a successful earning out of their creations. Identifying the potential of Pata Chitra, we launched Project Patran with a twin objective to revive this 2,000-year-old heritage art form and bring out their creators from the life of anonymity. Fueled by a Chitrakas passion to continue the legacy and heritage of their art, each article by Patrang is a unique piece of art in itself. Made with natural colors sourced from the various hues of nature, each product of Patrang is from the nature, of the nature and by the nature. The journey continues with contacting our Chitrakas and helping them understand the needs and requirements of the current urban markets. This is followed by the making of the product, where each product is aesthetically ideated and handcrafted. The Patran team assists them with packaging, storage and delivery of the product by helping in creating authentic distribution channels and a steady transport network. We have empowered the Chitrakas in a true sense. Our bid to provide the Chitrakas with an organized marketplace has borne fruit as we have been a part of four premier exhibitions across Kolkata in 2022 alone and have been able to sell a total of 1,547 units across multiple sales avenues. Happy Chitrakas and happy customers are the two sides of the coin for Project Patrak. We have a trusted customer base who invest in these products designed by our beneficiaries and thus act as patrons to preserve this heritage art form. On 22nd February 2022, Project Patrang was recognized by Biswa Bangla Corporation for its exemplary efforts towards establishing a more inclusive, safe and sustainable workplace for Chitrakas. When art slowly loses its significance, hundreds of artisans lose their eminence. We at Enactus SXE decided to gather our resources to bring back the livelihood and liveliness of our Chitrakars. In the process, we not only amplified the voices of Chitrakars who continue Bengal's rich legacy, but also fulfilled UN SDGs 1, 8, 11, 5 and 10. We have been able to impact the lives of 100 people directly, lifting 39 people above the poverty line. We have created 40 entrepreneurs and have trained 59 people. Not only this, 62 women now have access to better living conditions and sanitation and are directly able to supplement their family income. In its two-year tenure, Project Patrang has been able to generate a revenue of Rs. 8,25,000 with Rs. 6,18,750 going directly to the Patwas. We wish to empower Patichitra by participating in more exhibitions and look forward to doing commissioned works for Durga Puja Pandals, one of Kolkata's biggest attractions. We hope to uplift and support about 130 patwas by 2023 and generate a revenue of Rs. 9,90,000 by expanding to nearby villages and further to locations out of West Bengal. We plan to create 70 entrepreneurs and uplift 40 people above the poverty line. Though it is a form of performative art which is expressed in intangible and imperishable lyrics, Patichitra has been handed down from one generation of Patwa to another in hopes of being preserved forever. And Project Patrang hopes to become the catalyst of this process of preservation. At the other end of the process lie the happy faces of our Chitrakars who are finally beginning to see light through their artistic dexterity. But in not more than 500 kilometers of radius is another lurking issue which calls for immediate response. 
Access to clean and fresh water is fundamental to the health and well-being of the masses. Around 1 out of every 5 residents of rural India who do not have access to clean drinking water are from West Bengal. This combined with the fact that groundwater resources are depleting propels the masses to drink unsanitary and contaminated water with poisonous levels of iron and arsenic. This leads to the transmission of several deadly diseases causing the average monthly medical expenditure of the families in Bengal's arsenic belt taking up a ginormous chunk of their disposable income. Contaminated water, especially that originating from the arsenic belt, is used for drinking, food preparation and irrigation of food crops posing a great threat to public health. Neat hishap ta mithik bolte barbo na tabe amar mone hocche apnar 30 35 jon moto mara giyeche ar bou loker mane dehote attack hoye ache. Ekkhon ekta dekhlen attack hoye ache kintu mara giyeche mane 30 35 jon moto. Tao ei mane khub je duddhastar ami hishap bolchi na eta amader lokale. This high contamination of arsenic is much beyond the permissible limit in the ground water and affects about 1.04 crore people in West Bengal alone. Excess arsenic may affect up to 15 million people in West Bengal according to the World Health Organization and long term exposure to excess arsenic in drinking water and food can cause cancer and skin lesions. Thus to solve these serious issues in Actus SXE launched project Shuddhi in 2018. With the use of an innovative and cost-effective gravitational filtration method, the project was able to provide clean drinking water at a nominal cost to many ailing families residing in the arsenic belt of West Bengal. Project Shuddhi has been successful in launching an extensive range of the most competitive and effective domestic filters, including the original plastic filter, the steel plus steel filter, the steel plus matka filter, and the premium plastic filter. The cartridges for these domestic filters were developed in association with the microbiology lab of St. Xavier's College and under the guidance of Drinkwell, a US-based social venture that fuels the water infrastructure by aiding organizations that have the social capital and business acumen to provide safe drinking water in long term to various communities. To combat the lack of potable water on an even larger scale, Project Shuddhi set out to establish its first community water filter on 28th February 2021. Today, we are operating three community filters with a vision to establish three more in the upcoming year. These filters will draw out approximately 2000 liters of water every day and comprise filtration media of activated charcoal, activated alumina, magnesium and other filtration layers providing clean drinking water to more than 250 families on a daily basis additionally project shuddhi has organized several awareness camps to delineate the importance of safe drinking water the most successful one of these awareness camps was the one held on 13th february 2022 for the underprivileged children of swami vivekananda vidya mandir in south damdam in collaboration with pratna foundation the awareness camp helped spread the project's message and invariably enlightened many young individuals Every 3 months we train our beneficiaries as to how the filters are to be maintained. We have successfully recruited 15 beneficiaries with aberrant income through a wage system for manual work and have trained over 76 individuals and enabled 12660 people to get access to better quality water and sanitation. We have been able to sell a total of 972 units and set up 3 community filters generating a total revenue of rupees 22 lakh 14700 till date. We have also developed exclusive mineral cartridges and government implied terrafill technology that is extremely efficient in removing iron and arsenic. Thus we have been able to save over 32.96 crore liters of water due to our gravitational filtration technology. Additionally, while our filters are efficient, they are also cost effective. This has significantly helped our beneficiaries to cut down their expenditure on potable water by rupees 1500 monthly. We have reached out to 8500 people through awareness camps while our other activities have been able to impact 12912 lives directly. Thus, through our efforts, we have successfully fulfilled UN SDGs 6, 3, 13, 8, 1 and 12. With the vision of making potable water available and accessible, Project Shuddhi aims to impact 19,646 lives by 2023 and generate a revenue of Rs. 31,16,176. We hope to expand our project to other states in the same perilous conditions as West Bengal by installing three more community filters and improving our existing filters at the lowest feasible cost. 
by hosting more awareness camps we hope to impact 11445 lives and champion the cause of shuddhi by ensuring those in dire need are always extended a helping hand An actus in Xavier's College promotes an overall development of all its members to ensure their enthusiastic participation in the activities that we conduct. Thus, we host frequent workshops to disseminate knowledge about the business sector. Our annual flagship event, Enthusia, is another integral part of the Enactus SXE experience and it significantly aids in improving students' corporate acumen. Additionally, we also host Outreach, an annual interactive session where distinguished personalities educate students about relevant social issues to promote sensitivity among today's youth. Our annual book donation drive, Daksh, conducted in April this year, also produced remarkable results. We organize social drives as part of Enactus Week to broaden our contributions to a larger audience. During the third COVID wave, we had organized a food and vaccination drive to aid with relief efforts, and more recently, a plastic collection drive as part of an ongoing R&D initiative to reduce and recycle plastic waste in the environment. Our team has not only completed 36,500 hours of ideation and learning, but has also reached over 480,000 accounts and engaged a total audience of over 219,000 people on our social media platforms. With more activities and events on the horizon, an actus St. Xavier's College takes an inviolable pledge of seeking possibilities to take action and enable progress.